Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Games Workshop. It's been a couple of weeks since I've made one of these videos uh, and there has been a few releases that I'd like to go over and uh, a bit of news. So first of all I want to say a massive thank you to all of the channel members that support this channel. A big thank you to all of you subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet it does help the channel out and it allows me to get closer to giveaways. I have given away a fair bit of stuff on the channel and the more milestones I can hit the more stuff I can give away to you guys. And a very warm welcome to all of you new viewers. Right let's get into the news then. So um, the big news I guess uh, for this week is that the news, it's news about the news, Warhammer Community website has had a facelift. Yeah, um, it it kind of looks a little bit like other news outlets, I want to say. It pretty much has the latest news here on the, the front page and we can just select like see all and then it gives you this tile icon. But, you know, you've got these tabs here. You know, you've got all news and features, interviews, video game articles, reading, building and painting and watching. So if there's a particular um, kind of subject that you want to find out news about, I suppose that's quite useful. The search engine. Let's just try this. Yeah. I mean, type in Mechanicum. <laughs> you get August 2022. All right, um, let's do latest to oldest. There we go, that's more like it, good, good, good. Um, so we've got uh, a little bit about Might of Mars comes to Legion's Imperialis. So let's get rid of that search feature um, for now. And uh, we'll pretty much just go through uh, the news all the way back from a good couple of weeks ago. So I'd say from just before the 14th of September, if we uh, load all this up. Now, the last time I covered some news was uh, to cover the, um, you know, new Mechanicum. Now, I wonder if, I wonder if, if we select that, if it'll save where we were the previous page. It often doesn't with the uh, Games Workshop's web store. But um, yeah, the last time I talked about news was this um, Sunday preview, um, where I looked at the Martian Civil War, the Archmagos Prime, and you know, basically they were releasing all of the Mechanicum um, uh, products, including the new uh, Thanatar kit. It's a nice kit, and um, yeah, we didn't have to wait too long, did we? Uh, from the battle group being released to you know all of the the minis being released separately, which I suppose is a good thing. Um, I would have liked the releases to be staggered, though. I think it's a lot to not only release your new products, but, you know, everything in the range as well. Um, but I can see why, because then it gives you the option. Also, Warriors of Chaos uh, were released um, a good few weeks ago now. And all of their kind of metal and resin miniatures. You know, some coming back from Forge World, uh, which is great. And a couple of bucks. But if we go back, yes, it has... No, it hasn't. Oh dear, this is terrible. This is what the web store does as well. Um, they really need to uh, sort this out. So now I have to go all the way back to loading more. I mean, it, it wouldn't have been too bad if it had already saved what we'd loaded, but it didn't even do that, um, let alone go back to exactly the same place that we, we were before. Um, disappointing. But... Um, what we'll do is uh, we'll just go through it. So we had the Martian Civil War um, article. Uh, there was an article about the Old World Almanac, Chaos in the Old World. Had a rumour engine. But now we're going to have to do this to load them up. And it's some kind of katana type blade thing. Um, we had an Inquisitor fiction. So uh, we've got some kind of novels that celebrated... Uh, Inquisitors like Eisenhorn, which is a must read. If you, if you haven't really read any Warhammer 40k books or you're a bit put off with the Primaris kind of storyline and things, then yeah, I, I would definitely advise you to pick up Eisenhorn. It's one of my favourite um, books by Dan Abnett. Ravenna is good as well. But you've also got Erasmus Kroll or 
Prowl, those three uh, novels by Chris Rate, fantastic. So there's some Inquisitors. The Tithes, episode two. Um, so you've got a Sister of Silence um, stars in that. Uh, that's part of the Warhammer Plus. I think quite a few people are now receiving or received the past month their um, sort of, I say free miniature. You know, Warhammer Plus is £50 at the end of the day. You know, these miniatures that they're releasing are probably between 25 and 30 So the way I look at it is, you know, you're getting this subscription for about, um, you know, less than £2 a month or so. That That's the way I would look at it. But of course, that means that, you know, you're kind of, you're kind of limited in, you know, the, the models that are released because they only released the two two models um, for Warhammer Plus, typically an Age of Sigma and also uh, a Warhammer 40k. Um, be nice to have a Horus Heresy model though. It's been we're now on the fourth year, um, no single Horus Heresy plastic mini, um, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you've got this uh, Combat Patrols in the new subscription. Um, people wanted me to pick this up, but if I'm perfectly honest with you guys, I've got all of these models, I've reviewed all of these models, I've built all of these models, and you know what, it, it's a lot of time um, for, for me to invest, you know, picking up and giving you kind of unboxings and wrappings of models I've already, or I've already covered, um, and you ha typically have four uh, magazines in one release per month and that that's a lot Th this is the unique mini as well which is so lackluster uh, it's, it's un unbelievable um, would have been nice to get some more unique minis but if you're new to 40k or you want to bump up your armies uh, then yeah this is a, a good way to do it because you do save a fair amount I think the the issues are still going to be about nine pounds each I mean, it doesn't obviously say there and, you know, it might change per region that you, that you live in. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think this one just spreads itself too thin in that it, it gives you so many minis for so many different armies. And I can only gauge its usefulness if you were collecting all of these armies or you were thinking of collecting all of these armies or you like to sell some of these kits for more money uh, or you like to sell some of these kits for for more than you're kind of paying for them um, for me I've got all of these kits pretty much so yeah not really worth me um, picking these up just to give you you know unwrappings and reviews of things we've, we've already covered and at the end of the day it's either a week or two weeks worth of content for the channel especially going to the three core videos um, per week um, so it's, it's a you know half of the content would be combat patrols of, of minis we've already looked at. Uh, you've got Walking is for Heretics. You've got the Tempestus Aquilians drop right into combat. There's an article about those. You've got Wolf um, for Middle Earth. You've got Wolf for Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth. You've got more articles about Chaos, the upcoming events in Tampa. You've got the Warhammer Nova preview. Uh, so you had all of these roadmaps, and I think I did cover these roadmaps a little bit. They were very, very vague. They showed Mechanicum, um, but this is this is it really. This is the uh, roadmap. So 2024, you've got Solar Auxilia, and then you've got um, still to come Mechanicum. Other factions lurk, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. So yeah, we're, we're pretty much in October. We've only really got three more months of the year. I'm not sure about other factions. I don't know what that kind of means, whether you're just going to have some, like, chaos. I, I, I fail to see that they would release some chaos demons or some inquisitors or some or some traitor, uh, Sorrow Auxilia, something like that. I fail to see that they'd release that in the next two months. Um, but they've, they've put that. They've put other factions. And factions for me means, like, Mechanicum or Sorrow Auxilia. 2025 though something new every month that's good uh, and then tanks and then they've shown pictures of the tanks that are already released would have been nice to show just you know some of the tanks that are coming out because they're ready you know because these these products have a two maybe three year um product life cycle 
um, R&D life cycle. So just have some pictures of the tanks that are coming out, just the silhouettes of them, you know, um, or, or maybe one silhouette. Uh, but you've also got more Legions Imperialis. I think they, they showcased a preview of the Mechanica and Imperialis the other day. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just more to come, really. I think they will keep releasing, um, you know, the Forge World minis in, in plastic. I also, uh, also, if you watch the preview as well, they mentioned about um, how there will be plastic versions of some of the Legion specific units. Um, you know, like the Grave Wardens, I guess, like the Phoenix Guard. And that is pretty good. Um, it's not just going to be like uh, upgrade sprues or like um, like they've released recently. Like they've released before, it will be uh, Legion-specific stuff. So that means that the characters and like the Primarchs and things will remain in, in resin. Um, but moving forward, anything new uh, will be plastic. So, and that's pretty much how the rest of the preview um, roadmaps work. Uh, for um, you've got 40k here which it just says Blood Angels end of the year I think they've released Blood Angels haven't they 2025 you've got Astra Militarum and they've got a picture of the Death Corps of Krieg that would be unfair if they just released Astra Militarum without Death Corps of Krieg um, you've got Eldari and then Imperial Knights I don't know about that. I, I don't know whether we're going to get a full plastic faction for them now. And Eldari, it could just be one new mini. And Imperial Knights, I'm not quite sure about, about that uh, either. It might coincide with Plastic Mechanicum Knights. For Old World Armies, timeline for that is we've got the Dwarves, we've got the Chaos, we've got Empire of Man and High Elves in 2025. So they're the to two main one again look plastic metal and resin um so they didn't go all in and just go right we're just going to release everything in plastic it's it's a mixture of all those um materials we've got more articles covering the preview and then a look, little look at the uh, battle tones for the new edition for age of sigma uh, we went through the satellite we went through the Saturday pre-orders with the Archmagos and the um, Thanatar, which I did cover. Uh, the Archmagos was very lacklustre, but you've got the rest of the Mechanicum and the Thanatar uh, and the Triaros, as well as the Old World uh, Warriors of Chaos releases. Lots of Warriors of Chaos releases. I think I spent a long time covering all of those in my uh, preview. And then uh, we got this uh, map as well of Imperial Palace Undone. You got an Operation Hive Storm, and then the Sunday preview from the first of September was uh, the Children of the Great Horned Rat. So finally, uh, we got the uh, main release of for Warhammer Age of Sigma Skaven. I would like to cover Skaven at some point. I think there are some fantastic minis in this range. Um, you've got the Spearhead. You've got the Prophet of the Horn Rat, which is a fantastic mini. I would love to pick that up. Um, you've got Foul Blade, Arch Warlock, Warlock Galvanier, a Master Molder, Acolyte Globadiers, War Spark Weapon Battery, Warp Grinder, Storm Vermin, the Doom Flayers, the Brood Terror, which is just an absolute mess, <laughs> Skaven Reinforcements. Yeah, look at all those releases. Fantastic. And then you've got the dice and the cards. For Battle for Middle Earth, you had some Mater Order minis. I'm assuming these are metal. Yeah, over 20 years ago, they were released. And then you've got the White Dwarf as well. And then Black Library, got some Dawn of Fire, Hand of Abaddon. And Dominion Je Genesis by Jonathan Veer, Temple of Silence, Lords of Nocturne by Nick Kyan, that'd be awesome. And yeah, Warhammer Plus, yeah, you've got Lawmasters, a little bit of that, Titus. You have the new Chaos Dwarf star player, right here. the white 
dwarf particle. Celebrate Warhammer with this month's free miniature and coin. So this is the miniature. It is a very odd looking cruel boy orc. And then you've got an article about the new Skaven. Kill Team Hive Storm Law, Armies on Parade 2024. You've got another Rimmer Engine. Some kind of spear or stick with, I don't know what that is, some kind of slime glob or stuff. You've got the Tithes Episode 2, Custodes. I think, um, I think this was the female Custodes in this one. Uh, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. Hang out and play it with us live. That was the 4th of September. I covered uh, Space Marine 2 on a number of live streams. I think I did a, a live stream of the game in two uh, sittings. And then I did a third live stream of some co-op missions. Um, there's been a recent update for the game. I think it was like 13 gig or something. Quite a big update. Uh, they added a few things. So uh, I would uh, you know, load up your game and download that. A little bit about... Um, Kill zone with new universal equipment. You've got some rat men into your chaos armies. Chronicles of Ruin, Rack and Ruin. Kill team managing the range of uh, kill teams in the new edition. You've got Ruin the Realms with mighty custom heroes forged upon the anvil of Apotheosis. Operation Hivestorm, No Mercy, No Compromise. And then the pre orders uh, on the 7th a few weeks ago now that was all the uh skaven tide so the codex the special edition the spearhead the horned rats um the foul blade the arch warlock and all of the ones that i covered just a moment ago so yeah again they're throwing all of the releases at you at once which yeah my my thoughts are they should stagger it and gives you a bit of a a breathing space and also you can buy you know one set one week the next set the next week and, and so on um the sunday preview was a soup con of chaos and yeah you've got some chaos motor orders now these are pretty old minis um i like the spawn of chaos i've got one of those it's, <laughs> it's a really interesting model and then uh, black library just had the twice dead king collection um, very nice colour, like someone's gone, just gone mad with the, the highlighter there. And then, um, yeah, you've got beginner sets for all those miniatures. So very slow release um, for that uh, Saturday. Um, I think it would have been the 15th, 14th even. Um, yeah, more Kill Team uh, articles um, throughout all of that week. And we had another... Uh, star for Blood Bowl. They, they keep releasing these stars, don't they? This devious hobgoblin. It's interesting. Yeah, but these articles really um, for Kill Team give you these uh, specific uh, orders. Yeah, quite big articles, each one of these, about Kill Team. Rumor Engine, this was the 10th of September. Some kind of serrated blade quite a large blade there um then you've got the tithes episode three and then broken crusade is the latest black library tale of the black templars i really enjoyed uh sigismund um the novel and uh broken Su crusade by, by stephen fisher lovely cover art isn't it the special edition includes the new novel already available signed author yeah but that that they don't show it. <laughs> they don't show it. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, you've got more Kill Team articles. Saturday pre-orders with just all the chaos um, stuff. And then on the Sunday the 15th. So we're getting closer to where we are now in the timeline. Um, we had a little preview of the Kill Team Hive Storm uh, drops in. So this is the Kill Team that uh, was up for pre-order I think last weekend. Um, you get like a map, you get all of that scenery, you get 
not a huge number of minis, really. Uh, 10 each. Well, kind of 11 each, I guess. Because you've got 10 of the troops and then like a little automated thing for um, uh, both of the, the sides. I really like the colour of the, uh, the Vespids. Get the core book. Look at all that scenery as well. Very nice scenery. Um, 30 pieces of universal plastic uh, equipment as well. 14 substantial pieces of new kill zone Volcus terrain. So this is all new terrain. Very cool. You get a little bag. Oh, and then there's some goodies as well. Uh, you get 12 bases with room counter dials and so on. Kill team equipment pack. Cards, kill zone beta decima and kill zone gallo dark. They're quite cool. On like an offshore rig. You've got some Drakari Mandrakes and data cards. You've got the Nemesis Claw, which of course is the Night Lord's one, available separately. You've got the Orc Commandos, which have been around for two years now. <laughs> uh, you've got the Spaceman Scouts. You've got the Hernkin Jaegers and data cards. You've got the Corsair Void Scarred. You've got the Blooded, uh, which are the uh, Chaos Guardsmen, Traitor Guardsmen. You've got the Brood Brothers. And then you've got uh, an audio book, Bane Blade. It's been out for quite a while. You've got some uh, Tomy plushes. And then Warhammer Plus, you've got the Tithes again and a Battle Report for Kill Team. Um, so that might be worth a, a watch. So you have a Kill Team article, a Space Marine article about VR. Join the fray with eight players in VR. Got another new model for Blood Bowl. Zarg Mad Eye. That looks cool. I really like the paint effect that they've done there. So that's incredible. Um, painters from Warhammer Community dive into Kill Team and um, they give you the, their painting schemes. And then uh, catch up with Kill Team, every Hirestorm video released so far, just in one article, which is pretty good. Another big bit of news was Lieutenant uh, Titus unveiled at Warhammer World. So I think he's still there. Um, he's in the main entrance. You know, you go up the stairs here. I've done videos of Warhammer World. I probably will release some more videos um, soon. But uh, yeah, you've got Lieutenant Titus there. I keep wanting to call him Captain. But you go up the stairs there, and you go up the stairs here, and then you go around, and then the first thing that greets you is, I think, the store um, for, for Games Workshop. Like They've got a, a decent-sized store in there, um, and then you've got the Forge World store, and then um, you've got the big gaming hall in the store. You go to the left, and that, that's where the exhibitions are and things. But this is right in the, the front entrance. And uh, I think it's because he was originally at London South Bank, where he stood uh, temporarily. Similar one stood at the Uberplatz in Berlin. Uh, I don't know whether it's the same one. I think it's the same one, maybe, but it says a similar model. But it's a 1v1 scale, and he replaces the much-loved Great Unclean One plushie, known as Nigel Nergelson. So, yeah, he is there at uh, Warhammer World. Then rumor engine on the 17th of September, we had this, which is quite interesting. Some kind of hand grasping out of some goop. Another Kill Team articles, the Tithes, thrilling new Astra Militarum novel. This looks like interesting cover art. Yeah. Leontus, Lord Solar by Rob Young. Yep, I do like these special editions. They're, they're very nice. Um, they feel nice. The page is a very decent quality. Uh, they've got the page keeper as well, isn't it? I have to carry a bookmark all you know around. They work better with the sort of larger books than the really thin ones. Um, and they look great on the shelf as well. Uh, you've got a free 
points download for Skaven. Hang out and paint on um, Warhammer TV. We've got Armies and Parade 2024 submissions. We've got the Saturday pre-orders. Um, so you can pre-order the, the new kill team. That was last weekend. And then more kill team articles. War of Rohirrim. And then the Sunday preview. So this is what's up for, for pre-order today. Um, it is Chaos Knights, Chariots and more. Necromunda, Lady Hera, Hermiatus, 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 the second son, which is like a original tech priest biologist. Um, he is the person responsible uh, for unleashing the first gene stealer into the depths of Hive Secundus. Um, so, yeah, we've got Milestrain Coalescence. Very, very weird models, aren't they? Milestrain Alpha. And then Blood Bowl. We've got the Tsar Nagrund Ziggurats. And the Chaos Dwarf Bull Centaurs. Hathark the Unstoppable and Zarag Madai. As well as uh, Chaos Dwarfs Dice Set Team Pack. Spike Journal Issue 18. Warcry. We've got the Twist Wield. Weld? Twist Wield. We've got the Chiratic Cohort, which are awesome looking. And the Ravening Narlok, Above and Beyond by Denny Flowers. The End of the Death Volume 3 in paperback, I think. And then the uh, Car Charadons uh, audiobook. Warhammer Plus, you had a Age of Sigma Battle Report, looks like with Skaven. And then Lawmasters. Looks like you've got Sigma and then a master class, class with uh, dwarfs as well. Another star player um, for Blood Bowl from Lostria. Uh, this time it is uh, Hawking Croxigore Glottal Stop. Nice to have a uh, Croxigore. Croxigores are massive um, for Seraphon. Warhammer Day, 5th of uh, October, Warhammer Day 2024. So big reveals. This year This year is the year of chaos. Great Horned Rat joining the big leagues, finally rubbing shoulders with Korn, Zeems, Slanesh, and Nurgle as a fully-fledged ruinous power. There you go. Um, so there's a preview show on Saturday the 5th at uh, 5 p.m., and that will show everything except for Horus Heresy, it looks. So 40k, Sigma, Kill Team, Imperialis, Warhammer Underworlds. Um, <laughs> it's a little explosive dude as well. Um, so, yeah, there'll be that coming next week. We've got another Rumor Engine, which is some fire, it looks like. You've got uh, Mark Collins' interview with... Uh, the novel Eidolon. Fantastic mini as well. You can pick it up. There it is. And there's the uh, special edition. <laughs> Crazy. Article about the Chaos Dwarf rules note and then a 140,000 Space Marine 2 recruit edition so yeah you can get this recruit edition um, that has Titus in and uh, 10 Tyranid Termagants and a Ripper Swarm you'll be popping those 10 Termagants within about 5 seconds uh, I think it would be more realistic game-wise if it just included 10 Tyranid Warriors. But that's uh, that's my take on that. Um, it's a shame that they've only got this to promote a game that sold millions and millions already. Uh, I would have liked to. See. It's almost like um, Games Workshop are playing... Uh, a supporting instrument when 
it's because of Games Workshop, you know, this this game exists. Um, it's a bit like with uh, Horus Heresy Siege of Terror, and that they released the books, but Games Workshop didn't release the minis. Um, and I would have, and that's a shame. And I would have liked to have seen some kind of promotion, some kind of plastic box set, so that you could reenact some of the um, battles and things, uh, or or even just like a selection of the minis for the different books. So if you wanted to pick up the minis that would just include, you know, just for for a certain CG Terror book, there you go. And it, it would have given them an opportunity to release new models as well. And it's just sad that this is all we're getting. We, you know, we're not getting like Space Moon Two, um, the box game. So so that would have warriors in it, Termagants. You know, I won't spoil the other um, units and things, but it would have been great to have that. Um, rather than just what they've offered. You've got uh, Age of Sigma Behold the First Balance Changes, and then Spearhead Returns to Warhammer Plus. New animations, so it might be worth uh, looking at that. And then the new Warhammer community website is live. And uh, yeah, it's interesting because it shows you like the minutes, like a two minute, gives you an estimation of how long it takes you to sort of read maybe. Um, tells you what it's about and the date, obviously, and um, you know whether you, where you can find them, like in downloads and stuff. Horus Heresy Thursday, you've got the Might of Mars uh, comes to Legions Imperialis. Now, this I found interesting. So many people throughout the hobby always say, "Oh, super!" You know, this is this these plastic minis are around for Legions Imperialis. It's, it's definitely coming to Horus Heresy. No, doesn't mean that at all. I don't know why you would think that. Um, there's plenty of miniatures. Look at all the Titans, for example, that aren't in plastic and plenty of tanks and other units that aren't in plastic. Um, this is one such case, uh, although I would like to see... Although I think it's a given uh, that we are going to get the different variants of Thanatar. I think it's a given that we're going to get the, the Vorax and the Volterax. Maybe we'll get some... Archmagos on abeyance, I don't know, um, but obviously we've already got Castellax and we've already got one set of Thanatar and the Tech Thralls and the Thalax. Myrmidons would be good as well. Um, it's a nice set. I hope uh, a lot of these do come out in plastic. We've even got this, these new ones right here. Um, this is the first time they've ever had a, a mini, um, which are the uh, Arl Attacks Battle Automata. So they've got the, they're kind of like bigger thalax, really, with the jump packs and the kind of pincing claws, but then with a cool weapon on the top. Whether that's a plasma cannon, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I just hope that they are. You've got Contest of Heroes. Prefer, prepare for Warhammer events in the new year. Uh, Lightning Scoured, Stormcast Eternals. And then Two Hats and Short Kings. So, Blood Bowl, Miniatures... Designers talk Chaos Dwarfs. So a little article there about them. And that's it. Um, yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, this uh, news, I've kind of covered up like a <laughs> almost a month's worth of news in this video. So uh, thank you for your patience in um, you know waiting for this to come out. Let's go on over and have a look at the uh, pre-orders and things for today. So right here, we've got this web page. It says Warriors of Chaos. If we go to new and all pre-orders, uh, we've still got the kill team from last week. Um, so that was £145. Um, let me just sort these for you. So yeah, so we have the kill team, £145. Loads of scenery. You've got the two sets of 10 minis. You've, it's even It's got a bag. Um, but I think that's just for, for Games Workshop if you would pre-order it there. Um, yeah, it's got everything you really need uh, to play games. You've even got some dice and some supporting features. I think the the scenery is, is fantastic, you know, and you get the gaming map. Uh, you know, and then, look, for £75, this is just giving you an idea of the cost. So, and this doesn't have that much scenery as well. Uh, so, you know, for an extra what is it, 70 quid? Uh, so you're paying 70 pound there for all the books and the extras, the dice, and of course, 
the uh, two factions, which let's face it, are probably going to be over thirty pounds each. Um, so it puts it in in perspective. But yeah, you can get the kill zone beta decima or the kill zone gallo dark if you want uh, kind of like a, a kill zone scenery features that are on board a, a ship. You've got chaos marauders fifty two pound fifty, and you've got more chaos units like the chariots and the knights for the same price. You've got the different kill team box sets. You've got the different kill team factions. Look, so £47.50. Yes, I know you get the tokens and things, but it wouldn't be outside the realms to imagine that the Tempestus and the uh, Vespid are going to be this price when they are released separately because you know that they're going to be uh, included with this because you know that the uh, token card is going to be included uh, with the sets. You've also got the Blooded. You've got the Nemesis Claw. You've got the Commandos and the Brood Brothers. Um, you've got the Corsair Void Scarred and the Hernkin Jaegers. Then for Warcry, you've got the Terratic Cohort and the Twist Weld. Or Weld. Uh, they're £40 each, a bit cheaper. You've got the Marauder Horsemen for 40 the Chaos Warhounds for 40 and the Chaos Dwarf Bull Centaurs. They're out of stock, though, £37.50. Um, I think they'll be in Force World Resin. You've got the Kill Team Core Book for £37.50. You've got the Chaos Dwarf Team double-sided pitch and dugouts for £34. You've got the Chaos Dwarf Blood Bowl Team for £33. You've got Hathark the Unstoppable for £32.50. And then you've got Lady Hera in Sthenian, Sthenian uh, pattern. What is it? A war suit? A hunting rig. Yeah, £29 for that one. Uh, you've got Hermiatus, Hermiatus, the second son, £28.50. Uh, you've got the Malstrain Coalescence, and you've got Kill Team Equipment Pack for 28 You've got the Malstrain Alpha for £27.50. Uh, Zarag Mad Eye for £23. Some books, so you've got Above and Beyond, £22 in hardback. That's quite pricey. I don't like it when they go over the, the £20. It'd be interesting to see if it's in the cheap pe um, quality paper for that price. Um, that is, yeah, that's gone quite high. I would have expected like 14, 15 pound maybe. Blood Bowl Chaos Dwarf team cards for 20. The operations cards for 20. More cards for all of the different, you know, factions. 19 pounds each for all of these. And you just know that you're going to need those cards um, on top of your 47 pounds. So you're looking at 60. You're not going to get much change from 70 quid. From a box of 10 miniatures and their cards now. Uh, you've got the Scout Squad, the Blooded, the Void Scarred, the Commandos, they're all 19. You've got Lazarus um, in French. You've got the Chaos Blood Bowl team dice that sold out. Uh, so it's the end of the death volume three in paperback sold out. Blood Bowl Spike Journal issue for £10.50. And then you've got uh, the Wound Faces. Um, I think you get that if you pre order. The um, Kill Team box set. So quite a lot of pre-orders and new releases for me to cover. I know that some of these were uh, up for pre-order last week. Um, but I thought, you know, I'd cover everything today. Um, and that's about it. We'll find out tomorrow what's up for pre-order, you know, next Saturday. Other than the Mechanicum, it has been a bit quiet on my channel in terms of new releases. Uh, I'm still putting out all the content. And we've just got Soul Rock Zillia to finish up before I start giving you some Raven Guard reviews, and then we're into Death Guard. I, I wanna make a big deal about Death Guard for kind of October and Halloween and things. And there are some other videos that outside the mold of my typical unboxings and reviews. So I hope you'll uh, enjoy those. What do you guys think of all the news and the pre-orders and things today? I know this was a huge video, but uh, you made it to the end. So congratulations, brother. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.